All right, here we go. So I've got two beehives right over there. Okay. I just want to see if the uh, entrances are cleared. And they are. They're definitely not coming out today though, but still, it's good to know they're, if they need to come out, they can. Oh man, I can't see what's going on down there. This is frozen, I can't even do that. So, yeah, it looks good. This is good to see this, this is uh, condensation pouring out of the hive. It's the bees breathing, eating honey, doing all kinds of fun stuff. And I'm gonna take this shovel and I'm gonna put snow around the bees, around the hives. <clears throat> because snow is an awesome insulator. And it's also an excellent windbreak. Because the cold wind is not going to bang against the hives if the hives are buried in snow. So that's what I'm doing. And this snow is nice and dry. It's not wet. Normally uh, on the east coast of Newfoundland, it's usually wet. We get snow, which is usually followed by freezing rain or rain. But this stuff is nice and dry, so it's not gonna get wet, make the, make the hives wet. So, that's piled up, it doesn't hurt. Here we go. I could put a little bit more right there, I guess, hold on. But the snow is perfect, it's just, it's light, it's crispy, and it's not wet and heavy. So, uh, I could put a little bit more on that side too. Let's do it. There we go. Look like it, but there's there's, this, there's an open shelter down there. They can, they can breathe down there. They also have a, <clears throat> this one doesn't have an upper entrance. That one does, and they both have uh, hive pillows to keep in a little bit of the heat and absorb uh, extra moisture. And they have ventilation rooms up top too. And uh, this snow is great. It'll just. Uh, uh, See now, if they had, if this one had a upper entrance, uh, I would just pile the pile them completely. I just bury them completely, uh, and then all of this would be under snow. The perfect insulation, and uh, and they'd still be able to breathe up top. Uh, now there's, you know, of course there's more than one way to do this, but this is how I'm doing it. So, let's take a look over this snow bank, the snow drift. <clears throat> and let's check out the other hive that I have over yonder. These things are some uh, raised vegetable beds. Goose strawberries in those this year, and they all went wild. It was fun. Now I'm not going to show the hive that I have back here, but we'll talk about it. Let's pretend it's this hive right here, and I can tell you right now, it's looking okay. The hive that's not on camera. Uh, it's got a screened, hold on now. This is on top of the hive. What is this? Oh, it's a piece of paper. 
This is on top of the hive. This is a, an old paint can full of expired paint that I just happen to have around. I put it on top of the hive. An old uh, bottom board, homemade bottom board that I'm using as a shelter for the bottom entrance. And it's, this is, says, holy mackerel, no, 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 it only says, see this, this I think this thing's got to be wrong because it says, it says that's, Jesus, it doesn't even say, it's, it's like eight degrees Celsius. Yeah, maybe it is, maybe it is without the wind chill. Let's see what we got in here. Oh, yeah. Over here we've got, uh, that's where squirrels live. And I've got, uh, that's a whole candy board there. And there's a, a hive pillow. My battery's about to die, and I've been testing out this microphone, and hopefully it works. That's basically what this was. It was just a test of a microphone. <clears throat> so thank you for joining me for this microphone test today. And uh, right here is usually where I have uh, a little field of uh, fireweed, which I have learned is not the greatest honey for the bees. Uh, if you load the bees up with uh, fireweed honey going into the winter, uh, <coughs> it's, it's lacking in a lot of... Uh, a lot of good stuff. You don't need just one thing. You need as much uh, nectar and pollen sources as you can get because each one of them has their own individual properties that are beneficial to the bees. It's like if all you did was eat apples and that's all you survived off. You, you could do it, but you're going to be uh, sick of apples by the time spring rolls around. This is actually really nice. I think I might go for a little snowshoeing. I got work to do, or I can go outside and snowshoe. So I think I'm going to go outside and lose some snowshoe. There we go. I'm going to take a picture of that and we'll call it a day.